Love the Purple Butterfly here. Otherwise, most people said it on Twitter and YouTube, people elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. And I'm coming to show you how to prep your work when you're working with doubles. Okay, these scraps are from one wallet where it was actually like this. And, um, well, there we go. It was like this. And I literally cut out the center and cut it in half. So if you look real close, the tape and the creases and the seams are basically in the exact same spot. But I'm going to turn this into a pair of earrings, which means the last thing I want is for something like that going on. See how that's not exactly even while I'm doing some cutting. So this is how you would prep your work. First, you want to get a bobby pin, paper clip, something, and anchor it. That way you have a base. Since that was actually done with a ruler, I used the... Uh, grid lines on my cutting board um, to know where I to put my tape so forth so on so that way everything be nice and straight so I know I have a straight line on that edge the other two edges not so much because they were cut out of a work in progress now I'm going to take some tape also scrap that's a definite contrasting color Fun thing about duct tape is when I'm done, I can move this without a trace. Making sure that edge is lined up. And because I want it to be quickly removable when I'm done, I'm folding the lip of that piece of tape over like that. So that way for right now it holds where I need it to, but when it's time to remove, I just lift it clean off. So now all I have to do is take and measure or take a ruler and even up the sides or decide what shape it is I'm going to do. But while I'm cutting these two pieces, I don't have to worry about it shifting out of place because it's taped in place. Then when I'm ready to finish, I will be taking you know, a strip like this, but in the correct color, like some of the scrap here, and using it to fix that raw edge. That way everything will have a nice finished edge instead of a raw edge like that. You see how, I mean, literally you could cut yourself on that edge and that one too, but that one's nice and smooth. I always like to give everything a smooth thing. So this has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet, my blog. Of course, we'll have pictures. I hope this has been helpful to you, and stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.